Hey Vikings, what's up? So I'm gonna redo the video I made a few days ago. It was basically titled A Guide to Helheim. They did a few updates and a few things changed. So I'm gonna go over that and plus I'm gonna help you out with your build in case you don't know what to put your points into. Um, hopefully I can be able to help with that as well. So before I was telling you in order to get like 500 marks to go into your quest section under the dailies, if you do all of these you'll be able to get the last chest and in the last chest would have had 500 marker resolves. This morning there was an up Day and now it's down to 200 and they want you to buy this Northern Brotherhood subscription just to get an extra 400 for dailies so um, yeah didn't really appreciate that not a big fan of that at all the Northern Brotherhood subscription is like $20 so yeah not happy about that at all so now you can only get for free if you do your dailies 200 marks however if you do log in every day and you go to the bank and you go under subscriptions you get a free daily reward and i don't know if they nerfed those as well nerf just basically means like made it worse <laughs> hopefully they did not because yeah i'm not really appreciating it i was actually really underwhelmed that i had to um constantly wait for these mark of resolves and now they're taking away the only options you have to really get those for free besides like doing your daily quest and then logging in every day and getting the daily login bonus so let's head into the dungeon and before i only did the very first floor and i rushed through it to get the main chest well um i just should have stayed until i died because now i have to go back in each one of these to get the three stars so the three stars basically levels up your building so every floor that you do and you're able to get three stars on every single one of these things your buildings will level up to the next level so mine are one right now because I didn't get past the first level with the three stars so if I go back and get the three stars they will then be level two so I'm gonna do that right now which I'm gonna fast forward the video so you guys don't have to watch that okay so you see we got our first star now we want to stay here continue the exploration to get the full three stars so let's go ahead and do that okay so now you see we have our three stars for the first one but that won't level up the buildings yet you see how there's still one so we have to do all of them on the first floor just to get our buildings level up so let's continue and I'm just gonna speed past all of this. <laughs> no reason to uh, show this mindless, boring fight auto battle. Okay, so we finally got all three stars on the first floor and we're gonna go check out our buildings and yay! Okay, so they're level two, so that's definitely um, something worth doing. Instead of skipping over them to definitely get the three stars to level up the buildings. Now the buildings are just going to give you stats to your military. So as you level them up, these stats will grow bigger and you'll see more getting added onto them. So um, we're going to head over to our champion and click on the development tab and you'll see we have some stats to put on here. So maybe some of you are used to putting stats on your characters because of other games. Now this isn't like other games. Now maybe some of you are like, okay, well let's just go all strength and vitality. That's not how it works here in this game. So in this game, as you level up and you go through the dungeons, you'll notice that you're going to miss a lot on hitting the monsters. So you're gonna wanna put a ton of points on agility this will give you a better hit chance as you hit the monster he won't be able to dodge it however if he tries to hit you you'll have a better dodge chance as well so you definitely want to put most of your points on agility now for the rest we're just going to go ahead and apply them to strength which isn't much we just basically want to put a lot on agility so that we can hit the monster uh, better 
because he will dodge like crazy and it gets really annoying as you go through the higher level dungeons I've noticed so yeah definitely go for the agility and then do some on strength eventually you're going to want to put some on intuition as well so that you can get a critical hit on him and prevent a chance from him hitting you so let's go ahead and apply Okay, so that's what we're working with right now. So basically focus on agility, strength, intuition, and then a tiny bit on vitality. Once you have the agility to the most amount of points that you can put it on, you'll notice a big difference in flying through the dungeons. So let's go ahead and delete these. Ah, oh, I just deleted the one that said I got a huge march size boost. Okay, so also for doing the three stars, you get those amazing boosts that they recently put into the game. Um, in the last update, they put some random, like 100% boosts to a bunch of different things. So go in news, and then click more, and you'll see down here they put all these new military boosts in. If you defeat the dungeons and get three stars, you'll notice that those random ones drop. So that's pretty nice. Definitely another reason to do the three stars to get those boosts and to level up your buildings for the military stat. And we're going to have to start making armor for our character as well because that's going to help her out in the dungeon. It says right now I can craft that. So whenever you see a green little crafting thing here, that means you have enough ingredients and you are the proper level to craft it. So let me make sure she definitely needs it. She does. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and craft at least that. Now look at all these stats. It's going to be added on to our main stats. So we'll go ahead and craft that and equip it. Equip champion. Okay, cool. So um, it says we also need a weapon, but we don't have enough materials to craft anything else so we're gonna have to go do some more dungeons and hopefully get more materials so let's go test our new build out in the level two floor and i'll just fly through all this <laughs> fly vivo fly and here we go Okay, so here you see we actually got a Beowulf's Dagger. So I haven't even got this on my main. I am very curious what this is. I've noticed since the update as well, I'm getting a lot of Helheim Story Freshers. I definitely didn't get that one playing on my main and she's up to like uh, floor 6. <laughs> so um, I'm kind of curious. Why didn't I get this on my main? I swear to goodness, my main's cursed. I don't know what the hell's going on. It's messed up. Okay, so, um... We got a new weapon, guys. Let's go check it out. After I just crafted that one. Look! It's so much better stats. And it's a level 1. I can't equip it until I get out of here. Guys, I'm kind of jealous. I didn't get this on my main. This is my alt character and I was just doing a video to like walk through to help you guys understand how you can like beat the dungeons better with a better build and talk about how they recently did an update and took away um, some possible ways to earn some mark of resolve through the daily quest which I thought is totally unfair and now I get this drop that I never even got on my main, so I'm so confused. <laughs> Why didn't I get these amazing drops on my main character, or my main account? Okay then. So yeah, um, oh look, I finally have enough materials to craft the belt. So we'll do that after, oh I can, I can craft it now, but the thing is, is I won't be able to equip it because I'm in the dungeon. Let's Actually, I want to look at these reports real quick. Look, I got another big one. Oh my gosh, that's my second one. See, why don't I get this type of good stuff on my main? My little alt gets all the good stuff. Jealous. Let's see if she gets any more big boosts. Oh my gosh, she got another one. 
I'm crying right now. This character is a farming character. She does not need this. My main needs this. 3,250% troop enlargement. You know how many troops I could put in a freaking march with that? Like 20 to 22 million. Oh my goodness. I'm so jealous. My alt is getting all the good drops right now. I'm crying IRL. If <laughs> you can't hear me. <laughs> I'm freaking crying. Okay, that's not fair. My main's freaking bugged or something. My main is cursed and I don't get the good drops. I didn't get this freaking sword. I'm gonna equip it because it has better stats than the one. Oh, I can't. Alright, so let's go back in there so I can finish this floor up and equip the better stuff. So continue and get it done with. Okay, so we got all our stars and we're gonna grab our little chest here. And as you can see, um, it comes with the second wind, which basically helps us reset our stats in case we mess up <laughs> or we're not happy with our build. And then it does come with some market resolves and then um, 420 Helheim fire. We get some materials as well. And then you can see we have some permanent bonuses added to our military. So pretty nice and now that we're done with that our building should have leveled up to three and we can click on them and go to info and you can see we've gained more stats on each of them and more stats will open up as we level up all of the floors with three stars each is going to get much harder the first two floors are actually really easy um it's the third and fourth floor that's going to get a little bit more tricky and that's when we're going to have to start relying on our build to actually work so let's head into floor three and work up some experience for our champion so that we can level up and get some more stat points and we'll also be getting materials to craft as well but before we do that, I'm going to switch out real quick um, to this amazing drop that I got that I didn't get on my main. This is my alt character. I'm so jealous. Okay, equipped. And we finally can put our belt on that we crafted. And can I craft the boots? Yes, I can. So it's got the little green mark right here saying that we can basically craft this. We have enough materials. We are the proper level. So we're going to go ahead and craft this. Okay. So now we'll head over to the champion and equip it. We are fully geared. So now we have a lot of stat points, which is pretty nice. And you can see we're leading in agility. So that's definitely going to help us in the dungeons when we want to hit the monsters and dodge them as well. So let's head back into the dungeon and work on floor three. Oh, wow. Yep. <laughs> this is going to be glorious. Okay, so it's going to take a um, hundred marker resolves each time. We got seven floors here and I have 2,170. So at the end, you can see the chest here that we will get with a bunch of different ingredients and some military bonuses. Okay, so I definitely do not have enough health, and I'm not going to get my three stars. Okay, so you can see I only have two stars here. I wasn't able to get the three stars because my health was dropping past 50%. So it says I have three of ten because I've done this dungeon three times out of ten today. So every day it resets um, back to ten. So every day I'm allowed to do it ten times, or up to ten times. So I'm going to go ahead and click auto mode and see exactly how much experience it gives me. We're starting out at 180 and it says I need 14,000 for the next level. So let's just hit auto mode and see what the amount of experience we get. Now it says two minutes to do this dungeon and it's gonna take us 100 marker results. So let's go ahead and let that do that. And you can see down here it says exploring a node. So it's gonna explore the entire dungeon which is a node and it's going to take up to two minutes and then we're going to 
kind of um, compare the experience from when I actually explored it myself compared to say this auto mode. Okay, so you see it said up here that we got some ingredients and things. Now I'm going to go check out her experience. Wow. So we barely got any experience here, like 500 or something like that. So it's not worth to do it in auto mode at all. Um, let's go check out the mail real quick. We didn't even get any good materials and the experience was absolutely horrible. So once again, I'm going to go back and explore and compare the experience one last time if we were to do it on our own compared to say that auto mode we just did and we barely got any experience at all. What a ripoff. Just like Plarium taking away the 500 marker resolves in the daily quest and adding them to the Brotherhood subscription that you actually have to pay money for. <laughs> so greedy of them! I am not happy with that move at all. Kind of upset with that. Yeah, I mean, like, in today's times, people don't really have a lot of money to spend, so... They just should have left it how it was. It was nice, it was a good little update, and then they had to nerf it like that. Yeah, not cool. I am not amused, Plarium. <laughs> Very unhappy about that. And in the meantime, we're still trying to figure out how to get Bifrost. I got it. I got people messaging me like crazy, and I don't know how to get it. Like, I thought for sure it was attacking a town with rainbow troops, and that was the last thing I remember doing, logging off for a few hours, coming back, and then my account had it. But when I tried to get level 2, I tried to attack a bunch of random castles, and um, yeah, that wasn't working, so I didn't get level 2, so there's no way that could be it. I don't know what I did to get it. And yeah, I wish I did because I would definitely be letting people know how to get that achievement. Unlike some people out there with the account name of After School who seems to get every freaking secret achievement right away at max level. Not going to say anything about how the rumors are they're a Plarium employee, but yeah, I just did. So there's that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm not jealous. Yes, I am jealous. It's not fair. I want to know how to get that achievement. Okay, so anyways, back to this. We are trying to compare experiences to if we were to just do it on auto mode compared to exploring it ourselves. And I'm definitely going to say that exploring it ourselves is going to give us much more experience than doing the auto mode. So I don't know, I guess if you're in a hurry and you don't really care about the experience, then sure, you could do it in the auto mode and do it up to 10 times a day for each dungeon. But I don't have that many marker resolves, so that's not an option for me. <laughs> I'm not buying into the Brotherhood subscription, that's for sure. And I'm trying to wait for Megas before I can buy anything at all. I don't know why this has to be such a difficult pay-to-play game. <laughs> For fuck's sake, I'm spending my money. Isn't that good enough? Make it easy on me. Fuck. Okay, I'm done bitching. Anyways. Alright, so yeah, we're comparing experience now. Okay, so right away, just by beating the main guy, I got 341 experience. And I'm going to continue exploration. You can see I already got over a thousand experience for just doing this on my own. So that's proof right there that auto mode sucks. <laughs> it's not the best thing to do with your marker resolves. Like I said, if you're in a hurry and you don't care, sure use them. But it doesn't give you a lot of experience at all. And you really need that experience because as you level up in the dungeon floors, they're going to get so much harder and you're definitely going to need Need those stat points invested into your champion to get past those floors and get your three stars. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and speed this up and then I'll go ahead and compare the experience at the end of all these creatures. This manually with explore instead of auto mode. So auto mode is kind of a waste. We're going to go check out the mail real quick and see if I got anything really good like the big boosts. And no, I don't see any big boost ones. Oh, I did get one! Fuck. But 
I accidentally deleted it so fast because it was down here and I was looking over here and deleting them too fast. I did get something, but I didn't, I didn't get to see what it was. Uh, okay. So yeah, when deleting your mail, go slow and not fast like me. <laughs> also, let's go spend these development points. Um, I noticed that we need to be able to critical hit him a lot more. So some of our points, or most of our points, will be going on that and try to make them as even as possible right now. Just because that's the way I like it. <laughs> and um, we should put some on agility. And then some on strength. And then we'll just do a tiny bit on vitality. Actually, we'll take like one away. I'm gonna have an uneven one somewhere. Oh well. Vitality it is. <laughs> okay, so um, apply. And this is what I'm working with right now. Okay, so I failed again. Um, I'm gonna have to just keep working at this. Apparently I need to craft better gear or redo my stats. I'm not really sure. I definitely want to hear what kind of build is working for you. Like what is your stats and what is working for you guys? It's taking a few tries to get past this. Maybe that's just something that's natural. I really don't know. Eventually, I'm sure I will get past it. It's just being a pain in the you-know-what right now. <laughs> it's just hard right now for me. Um, apparently, I need to get better gear, maybe? I mean, my gear is kind of crappy. Let's go into here real quick. There's nothing good here. There's just nothing good here. Oh, I can craft a better shield. What about my belts? Nope. Boots? Nope. So basically the only thing I can craft is my shield that might help me. Alright, I'm gonna go with the Bayesian skin. I meant, um, shield. <laughs> I was thinking of the Brigham Town skin. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna equip that now. And now I'm going to break down this, my old shield. Get some materials back. Okay, so, um, that's the best I could do right now. I'm gonna go check out the weapons. Okay, so, that's basically the best I'm going to do right now. So, yeah, um, I'm just gonna keep working at this level. <laughs> and eventually I know I'll get it. It's just taking a long time. Um, maybe my build is messed up. I definitely want to hear in the comment section your guys' builds. What is working for you? Um, is it agility? Is it intuition? Is it vitality? Is it strength? Um, is there a factor in playing Viva or Unar? I mean, they both start off with different amounts of stats. <laughs> I wish I knew. It's a guess right now. I'm definitely having troubles passing this third star right here. But maybe since I crafted that weapon, it won't be so hard. Okay guys, I'm going back in. <laughs> it's like my fourth try. Okay, wish me luck. This has got to be it. I crafted a better weapon. You know, it really don't matter to me. I'm getting experience anyways. I'm going to need to do this. Eventually, I'll hit a dungeon that is just so hard, apparently like this one, that I can't even get three stars for. And I'm just going to have to keep trying and trying. But while I'm trying, at least I'm gaining experience and getting materials. So leveling up is definitely something we need to do and get those stats. Yeah, so onward we go. Let's see if this works out. Okay, so this is good. So far I didn't lose a lot of health and I already found the main guy to give me my first star. So it's looking like I might get three stars this time and I just needed to up my gear is all. <laughs> so if that happens to you, just keep getting your experience from the dungeon before or working on the dungeon that you're on. Don't give up. Definitely keep getting those materials and crafting better gear. Gear helps a lot, I've learned. <laughs> this new shield is amazing. So far, it's really working. So, 
thankful for that and I am definitely getting a lot of experience going back and doing this as well so it's working out either way right now and I'm happy wow okay so I got past that level finally with three stars with 78% health that shield helped me so much <laughs> I'm so happy I got past that Oh, I'm so freaking happy. Okay, I'm so happy I got past that. That was a nightmare. Okay, so now we're on to the next one. Look, my buildings are level 5. Let's click on them and go to info. Oh, look at all these stats. Wow. These are so good. I'm so happy right now, guys. Three stars for every floor to level up these buildings, and it's totally worth it. So I'm on level 5 now. And it's going to be absolutely crazy. I'm going to have to keep repeating that pattern of going back to the dungeon before, getting experience, and um, moving on from there. I don't expect to really get three stars right away, but maybe, I don't know, <laughs> if I keep leveling up correctly and um, keeping up with my gear, maybe I could just fly through the dungeon like I did the last one. <laughs> that was pretty nice. That was really, really amazing. All I did was craft that shield, and it gave me so much more to my stats that I was able just to get past that one. Okay, Vikings, so leave me your stats in the comment section if you would, please. Tell me what you prefer to put your stats on. Is it strength, agility, intuition, or do you put some on vitality? You can see I'm not really doing that with my build. I'm trying to focus on these three right here, but maybe that's not it. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> Who knows? All right, guys, I would definitely appreciate some tips or any suggestions that would be great so we can learn from each other and make a really good build so we can all just kind of fly through these dungeons and if anybody knows how to get the Bifrost achievement please feel free to leave that information in the comment section I know a lot of us in the community would definitely be grateful to know that so we can start working on our levels for Bifrost I'm going to end this video but thank you for watching and subscribing and liking and I will talk to you next time. But until then, stay safe out there.